Welcome to Chow.com's Super Taster. I'm James Norton, and I'm going to start today's video column with a little bit of a puzzle for you. Uh, I'd like you to guess what these various things I'm about to show you have in common. Let's start with uh, 18 six-packs of uh, a craft beer, a bottle of Lafroy 10-year, and a bottle of Highland Park 18-year. Uh, 15 pounds of Nooski Applewood smoked bacon from Wisconsin, uh, the Rolls Royce of rashers, as uh, R.W. Apple once famously wrote of it. And a Thursday night fixed price meal at Chez Panisse in Berkeley for two people. And, uh, or, or, or this. It's a 2009 Utopias by Samuel Adams. And the thing that all these things have in common, actually, is they all cost about $150. Um, and I realize that in the world of gastronomy, value is kind of a. It's kind of day class say. It's, it's looked down upon to think too hard about what something costs because you might miss the inherent excellence or blah blah blah. I don't really care about that. I think value is incredibly important. So I want to explore Sam Adams Utopia's 2009 from a value perspective. A little bit of background on it. Uh, this stuff was first released in a 2002 edition. It won Guinness Book of World Records Strongest Beer with a 25% alcohol by volume. Several strains of yeast went into this, including one typically reserved for making champagne. Two malts, three noble hops. They brew just 53 barrels of this a year. Uh, and, and it, it's packaged in a ceramic uh, brew kettle shaped bottle, as you can see. And it's got this cool little peekaboo window. Oh, hi, I'm Sam Adams, a brewer and patriot. Well, Sam Adams pops out there and he's hoisting a, a, a mug of probably more affordable beer. Without further hand waving, let's get right down to it and crank this open. Ooh, wow, that, you, there is actually, um, I was expecting almost like a straight cognac or port. Uh, but there really is a, 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 a malty, uh, almost yeasty kind of um, beer aroma wafting out of this. I'm getting a lot more fruit and vanilla. Wow, there's a lot going on there. Uh, an almost uh, a sour yeast tang, which really sets off the sweetness pretty nicely. Um, a cinnamon, another kind of bright spiciness to it. There's three, four, five, six different layers of flavor going on here, which I think you would hope uh, for this kind of a presentation and this kind of a price. I have to say, you really are going to enjoy a, uh, a beverage with a flavor profile that's nothing like anything I've ever tried before at any rate. And is this equivalent to a two-person meal at Chez Panisse on Thursday night? Mm, gotta call it as you see it, but I think if you're thinking about giving this as a gift and you've got this kind of money to spend, uh, an appreciator of fine beer and fine spirits will certainly find this uh, to be a, a, a wonderful addition to their library and something you can break out after a great meal and, and share with friends. So, in conclusion, Sam Adams Utopia is interesting stuff, pricey but uh, but challenging. Thanks for watching. I'm James Norton for Chow.com's Super Taster.